Hello everyone, my name's Jim. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little workaround. If you have a dual router with the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz and you're trying to set up a smart plug or a smart switch or smart light or whatever you have, when you're having problems getting it hooked up. The main thing is is a lot of people they'll go into their router and they'll disable the 5 gigahertz and then use the 2.4 because that's what the smart switch and smart plug and all that 99% uh, of them use the 2.4 and it won't work on the 5 gigahertz so what you need to do the biggest problem is is, is when you're in your house and you got the dual band router and you got your phone which is what you're going to use to set up your smart switch is it's hooked to the 5 gigahertz usually and with your phone hooked to 5 gigahertz and you can try to install the other smart switches to the 2.4 it's not going to work so what you have to do is you instead of you know disabling the 5 gigahertz being 5 gigahertz is fast so you don't want to disable that you do want to keep it is you want your phone to hook up to 2.4 gigahertz while you do the installation. After the installation, it doesn't matter if your phone goes back to the 5 gigahertz or not, but you want to you want to get it to 2.4 gigahertz, and that way there you can do your setup, and basically you're going to do the setup according to the instructions on whatever smart device you have. So, to get your phone to 2.4 gigahertz instead of the 5 gigahertz, is you want to turn off your Wi-Fi, and being that 2.4 gigahertz has a uh, uh, farther distance reach than the 5 gigahertz does, once you turn your Wi-Fi off on your phone, go out of your house, go a certain distance, and then turn it back on again. You're trying to get out of the 5 gigahertz range, and then when you restart your Wi-Fi on your phone, you're hoping to be at the 2.4 gigahertz. Come back inside, Try your installation again. If it works, then you're on the 2.4 gigahertz. If it doesn't work, then go back outside again, turn your Wi-Fi off, go a little bit further distance away, and then turn your Wi-Fi on while you're still out there, come back in the house, try the installation again. The biggest process is, is getting your phone on the 2.4 gigahertz so you can do the installation. After you do the installation and you come inside and your phone hooks back up to the 5, it doesn't matter. Everything's good to go once you get it connected. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, just leave me a note in the bottom. I'll try to help you out. There is a longer process that will tell you if you're on your 2.4 gigahertz, and that's by going into your IP address, into your router. You can look in there, and it tells you what your phone's hooked up at. I actually did a video on that. It showed all my IP addresses and everything, so I had to kind of not include that with this video and I hope you understand but you can do it that way too you can go into the into the um, information on your router go outside turn your Wi-Fi on your phone come back inside do a refresh on the page and it'll tell you if you're at 2.4 2 or 5 point uh, or 5 gigahertz so I hope that helps I fumbled around with it for about a week trying to figure out a way of hooking up my smart switches I've got four Augie smart switches after I got my phone on the 2.4 gigahertz connection. All four of them went in like a champ. So I hope this helps. Hope you have a great day. Uh, thumbs up for me, please, and have a good one. Thank you. Oh, this is my cat, Data. Data, say hi. Say hi. Oh, well. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.